in the heart of East Africa, where hope and health unite, there is an organization dedicated to transforming lives of the communities, especially most vulnerable groups. That's the Society for Family Health, Rwanda. Society for Family Health is a non-governmental organization, a non-profit operating in Rwanda and the other parts of Africa. Currently, we are working with the Ministry of Health of Rwanda to make sure that we achieve the universal health coverage aspect. It is an aspiration we believe we can achieve by 2030. Uh, Society for Family Health for the last 10 years has been working with the government of Rwanda and other partners to make sure that we provide health services to each and every household in Rwanda. We are also providing information. We are providing health products. We however realize that there is actually a big gap to achieve universal health coverage without health facilities in rural communities. And now, in partnership with the government of Rwanda, we have established a goal to build a health clinic in each cell of Rwanda. A cell in Rwanda is an administrative unit that has about 5,000 to 7,000 people. And these need health facilities to make sure that people can be able to receive health services nearby their households. We have built over 200 health facilities serving so many people and addressing so many diseases and health problems in the country. Our goal is to do 1,000 of these. This will help the government of Rwanda and the people of Rwanda to achieve the goal of universal health coverage, whereby everyone in Rwanda is able to receive health services without any financial difficulties and with health care providers who are very well trained to provide the care. These rural health clinics, which we call health sports, have proved to be game changers. For example, we see that where we have established them, we have seen significant improvement in the indicators of neonatal and maternal child health. We have also seen improvement in the family planning indicators. We have seen that the distance that people use to travel, walking to seek for health, has significantly reduced from three hours to between 15 and 30 minutes walking distance. And this gives a lot of comfort, a lot of hope to the rural communities because they can be able to receive healthcare services in, within a walking distance without interrupting their other work-related activities, which means that they can actually be very productive. In our journey to achieve universal health coverage, we have also embarked on the digitization of these health posts. This digitization has helped us tremendously to make sure that we are able to receive data real time and make timely and informed decisions. Thanks to our partners, EFISH, Sun Technologies, of course under the leadership of the government of Rwanda. This is our mission, to make sure that every health facility is digitized so that we can be able to have timely information. Currently, we have 200, we are moving it to 1,000, and we believe that when all these are digitized, interconnected, it will make it much easier for us to make decisions and to support them so that we can be able to provide improved health care and achieve universal health coverage. I call upon different partners to come on board and work with us and support us and partner with us to achieve this goal of universal health coverage. We believe that health is a right and it is only possible when we put our hands together, when we partner in the right direction. Thank you very much. Thank you.